Each week we check out a new gun museum. We call it the Firearm Museum Tour. A big part of our gun show loophole tour is checking out the firearms museums around the country. And we know that they're all interested in getting more visitors and more awareness. So we're going to help by featuring a new museum each week. And this week, let's take a look at the John M. Browning Museum in Ogden, Utah. This is one of the coolest museums because of what it focuses on, and that's the, well, the man himself, John Browning, and his inventions. What's unique about it is it's in the town where he was born and where he did all his work and where he lived. So we're taking a look at the museum, which is in the railroad uh, station. And there's a railroad museum there and a couple other museums, I think a car museum. So when you go in, you park, you go in and uh, go upstairs to the Browning Museum, you'll see that glass display with a bunch of his rifles and stuff. As you walk upstairs to the, up the stairway, you know, that's the museum there. It's a bunch of displays. It's fairly dark. Uh, they're older firearms, so they have to keep them dark. There's, uh, every time I've visited and the times that others have visited, there's been some volunteers that really are knowledgeable and know what's going on and are a great resource. Uh, so if they're able and they're willing, uh, have them give you a tour uh, through the stuff. But you get a lot of interesting stuff from Browning. This is his workshop and his actual tools and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, he used to take apart his guns and rebuild them into the next gun. So there aren't a lot of prototypes, but there are some original things uh, and some uh, early examples. And there's a pretty complete examples of all of his work. So it'll be upstairs in the train station, and it's in Ogden, Utah. Now you'll have the opportunity, if you have the time, and I encourage you to give yourself plenty of time to visit because there's three or four factories in Ogden that Browning and his brothers uh, used during the years, and then there's his house. So you can find his house uh, on the maps or uh, from the help with the museum, and then one of his factories is right there near his house. Uh, the other two factories are uh, in town, and then the third one, or fourth one I guess, uh, is closer to the museum. So I've been able to check out all the different factories, uh, but I've always been in a bit of a rush. It's been, you know, visiting the Browning Museum has been a portion of what I've done in a day while visiting the area. And next time I go up for sure, I'm gonna spend the entire day just at the Browning Museum to go through and just really experience the stuff. Watch the movie, I, I recommend watching the movie. It's like a 20 minute movie about uh, the life of John Browning. Uh, that's definitely a good uh, way to get in uh, into the submerged into the or immersed into uh, Browning's uh, experience and then give yourself time to go out and find those museums they're not necessarily easy to find I guess with Google Maps they're getting easier to find uh, but it's neat to be able to go to the museum uh, to the factories and to see how he went from a gunsmith and gunmaker uh, to a more successful and even more successful and then, you know, by the time he had built the 1911 and the machine guns, he was pretty established. And the museum is not small, or the, that factory is not small. So it's a cool museum. It's in just north of Salt Lake City. So there's lots of stuff to do in Salt Lake City. There's some great gun shops down there uh, and some uh, surplus stores. There's other things to do. There's some ranges down there. And I haven't spent too much time going north from here, but that would I've heard there's things to do north from here as well. So if you're uh, familiar with Browning, I'm sure you've got stuff to add. Leave it in the comments. Wherever you happen to see this video, if it's on GunStreamer.com, a great video hosting platform that's Pro 2A, or GunTube.org, another Pro 2A video hosting platform that offers live streaming. So if you're doing live conversations online, GunTube's a great source. Uh, but if you've been to the museum, leave us some comments on these, uh, wherever you happen to see the video. Uh, let's get a conversation started about Browning and his museum. His father has a museum in Illinois, much smaller, but also interesting. Uh, I was able to see both of these museums when I went up to the Gun Rights Policy Conference in 2018 in Chicago. So leaving from Tucson, I went to the Jonathan M. Browning, or Jonathan Browning, I don't know his middle name is, uh, in Nauvoo, Illinois. And then when he went west, I uh, eventually had John Browning 
in Utah. Was born, he was born in Utah, and that's where this museum is. So it's a pretty cool uh, museum, and not the most guns you're ever going to see, but an authentic museum in the location. Being able to see his factories is even a bigger treat. So leave us some comments if you've been there. If you're planning to attend, we'll give you as much heads up and tips as we can. And as always, thanks for watching. The guys and gals at gunwebsite.com encourage you to take a CCW course every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching gunwebsites.com.